My name is Sanjay Dhawan, and I'm born and brought up in Bombay. I'm married, I've got two children, and I'm in the marketing field. My previous life, what I was going through, it was like one thing that uh, I was a very notorious person. I never knew as to what is my present and what is my future. I only knew one thing that to make money, hook or by crook. I was a youth congress president in my area from the Ward 90. I was doing social work also as well as illegal activities. I was involved in that. One day it happened so that uh, from my society one friend of mine told me, Sir, you go to the, your uh, parish church, holy family church, I think, uh, people are getting healed, people are crying, people are falling down, so many things are happening. I said, ah, I don't believe in that because what happened is that there must be a father's uh, representatives who must be wanting to pull the crowd in the church. Somebody's crying and I don't believe in that. No, ghosts are coming out. I said, no. It happened like that next day, I completely forgot about it. There was only two days were left. Three days was the uh, healing ceremony. And then next day I was coming from the market. Then I saw the lot of uh, bell ringing and commotion in the church. And then I remember, oh yeah, it's a healing. Let me see. I just went to see, to remove the mystics. That what is this actually? Let me see. I went in there and waiting. The normal prayer was going on. Then actual prayer started. When the actual prayer started, I could see the people, somebody is crying, somebody is laughing, somebody is rolling down on the floor. Then when I saw it from my eyes that this is really, it's a real. And I felt some power. And I also felt there's a white sheet above me. The full sky is over the white sheet. Then I looked up, no, it's a sky. But again, I looked down, I'm feeling the white sheet. I felt the power. And after the prayer meeting, I came home, as usual, had my drinks, went to sleep. Next day was the last day I went again. This time I went with the faith. I believed. Then I heard the prayer. I heard everything. So after the prayer, I came home, had my drink, as usual, had my food, and went to sleep. I was sleeping in the bedroom. Now, my bedroom was like this. One door is in the balcony. We have a balcony long. And there's a door behind to come to the bedroom. My wife is sleeping, I'm sleeping, I'm nicely drink and all everything and gone to sleep. At 2.15, exact to be precise, I suddenly woke up. I'm lying down but I woke up. Fresh, as if I've not drank anything, very fresh. And then I could see that there was a light in the balcony. Light so bright, so bright which I cannot, a human being cannot see. But I tried, I want to see, I was very anxious, that I just, anyhow I pulled my face this side, and from the tip of my eyes, I could see the figure. I saw the figure, huge figure, completely human being, and there was light coming out. Then the voice I heard in my mind, very soft, and very kind and loving voice, it's me. When it said, it's me, my full body was, I just relaxed. And then I could feel my goosebumps standing like a thorn. I could feel that my hair was standing like a thorn straight. I could feel that very strong power. And I felt that my skin rolling down. Skin rolling down, 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 down. And, and lo, I've gone to sleep. It happened that day. I don't know the date. I don't know. The, but it is over 25, 30 years back. Then again it happened next day. Same thing. And on third day, three days, third day, again the same thing, three days it happened. Then I asked my wife, I, hey, you must have drunk a lot. I said, no, I didn't drink that much. I said, no, you go to the father, ask the father what to do. And I got baptized in the church. Now, after getting baptized in the church, my Lord started working in me. And I started, I, my automatically, in each and every word, there was a wrong wordings, which I stopped, giving bad words. First, I stopped. Secondly, I was a chain smoker. The people say it is difficult for them to give up. I just said, Father, in the name of Holy Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, I broke the cigarette, threw it from my balcony, 
Till date, I have not touched the cigarette. The things are gone. My drinking habit is also gone, almost. I am changed. Almost gone. Now I have come to the retreat. I am asking Lord, I want to completely give up all my bad habits. The, now, after that, Lord has changed me. I have, don't like to cheat. I don't like to tell lies. I don't want to go here and wire. The Lord is leading me. I walk straight in life and talk straight. Up to the point. I have stopped going to the ladies bar. In fact, I don't even look at the bars. I feel uneasy when I look at that. And the uh, Lord tell me, this is not your future. Your future is with me. You have been chosen. And I paid a price for you. So come to me and I'll make your future. So I'm with the Lord since then till date. And now, least but not the last, I'm happy for what Lord has done for me. He has gifted me with a really very good loving and understanding wife. I have got two children and uh, I'm thankful to him. And I'm willing to serve my Lord till the rest of my life. I want to be with him. I'm content, I'm very happy. And I'm very joyful because all because of him. Today, whatever I am, all because of him. I'm thankful to him. My name is David Brito. I am from Chennai. I am married. I am blessed with, a, uh, with one son. Uh, I am here to share my testimony. I am a sailor. I was sailing in the capacity of a chief officer. Uh, while on board, I met with an accident where uh, I was admitted to an hospital and the problem was the accident has caused me for L4, L5 disc prolapse and I was under traction for a month. Even after a month of traction I was not cured so I have to hop from one doctor to the other and then a couple of doctors have advised me that you are in a border line and then a couple of them told me you have to go under the knife. Eventually we have decided to go for a surgery. I was operated by a very senior doctor, uh, an experienced doctor uh, for a L4, L5 disc prolapse. Even after the surgery I was having a problem on both my legs. I was getting numbness. I could not stand for uh, you know more than 10 minutes. I cannot uh, do a routine works. So I was with that I was pulling on. Uh, this happened sometime in 2002 and uh, <clears throat> after that uh, in 2007 or 8, eight 9 some, uh, some of this period I don't remember exactly. Uh, I was attending the Valangani in Basanagar, uh, uh, Valangani the uh, feast day I was offering the mass. During the mass I got cured on my right leg and uh, after that, the problem, whichever, whatever was there in my left leg, it was persisting. And I and my friend decided to come to Divine Retreat Center. So we just like that came in. And it happened to be an uh, international youth conference, deeply rooted <coughs> and grounded. So that was the title. And we attended the full uh, conference uh, on the Divine Retreat. Uh, during at the end of the retreat, there was a uh, adoration which was conducted by Father Augustine Valoran. During this uh, uh, period or uh, during this adoration, I was completely blessed by Jesus walking into me. Earlier, I used to drink for socializing, but since that day onwards, I had stopped drinking, and I 
did not have any temptation even to have a drop of wine. So uh, even this uh, leg pain which was there on my, on my left has vanished and till this day I, have, I do not have any pain and thank God for healing me uh, miraculously. Hi, my name is Nikita. I'm from Bangalore. I'm studying in eighth grade. And uh, we are a family of four. My brother, my mom, dad, and I. So I used to come to Porta or Divine Retreat Center since I was three. And uh, Normally, we were Sunday Christians. We didn't put God in our life first. But when we came here, we experienced God. And then we knew that we should put God first in our lives and everything rest and go to church every day. And uh, Divine is a very nice experience where people get touched and healed through the scriptures and God is true in this place working. Once we, uh, we go back from Divine Retreat Center, we learned how to pray, how to seek God, how to listen to His voice and read His word and always keep Him first. Well, I was critical when I had Dengu, which uh, where I had been in the ICU for five days and the doctors had given up hope, but we still didn't give up hope. We just continued to pray and read scriptures and send words for me so I could get healed. And here I am today speaking in front of you all. So one more incident which I want to share about my life and how God worked was through my brother. My brother was born as a premature kid, born in seventh, seventh month. And soon after he was born, uh, my mom was told to go every three hours and feed him and take care of him. And he was in the ICU for like a month and he was very small for his age at that time. And the doctors also told that he had a kidney problem where after one year he needs to get operated. Uh, but then we, we were scared and we frightened and we fretted a lot, but we also had prayed that this should not happen. We just trusted God and trusted Him and had that hope in Him. And we prayed, just prayed using scriptures. And once we went to consult the doctor again, the doctor had told that it was no need of um, treating him. Uh, for the kidneys, like operating him. And we believe that uh, our baby is healed of his kidney problems and he's a hale and healthy baby. And this is how God works in my life. So I thank and praise God because I'm here. And glory to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hello, my name is Peter and I'm from Europe, from Germany. I'm 50 years old and my profession, I was for 30 years primary school teacher. Now I'm retired, I'm married, I have two children in the age of 22 and 26.
I was born in a faithful family, but uh, uh, in the age of 18, I do not want uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, know anything about faith. And so I, I turned my life to uh, many bad things. And uh, I had uh, different uh, relationships and I, I was drinking alcohol and I, I also was smoking uh, some uh, um, drugs. And uh, yeah, uh, when I did this, I was happy just for, for some time, but not always. And my problems uh, didn't uh, go to the divine center. I heard about uh, because uh, there were uh, priests from Kerala, uh, also in my country, in Germany. And I, jo I joined a, a, a German retreat with a priest uh, from Kerala. And I, wa I wa was so astonished uh, to hear uh, the, the priest from, from India because uh, he, uh, he was speaking uh, other than uh, uh, my priests. He was speaking so, uh, so uh, great. And uh, I noticed that uh, this priest is a, a really priest. And uh, uh, I heard uh, through this uh, priest the voice uh, of God. And uh, so I, I, I wanted uh, to, uh, I was very um, interested to come to, uh, to India to the Divine Retreat Center to join a retreat. And uh, so I did it. Now I'm the seventh time here. And uh, uh, after every uh, retreat, I, I, I've got uh, a new impulse. And uh, my uh, spiritual life always was growing, growing, growing. And uh, now, uh, I go often to Holy Mass and I, I pray uh, many times and I, and I see in my life that uh, uh, many things uh, uh, are changed. Uh, I have more peace and, and, and my children are friendly and I have a, a good relationship uh, to my wife. Uh, everything is, is more better than, uh, than in the past. And this is for me the sign uh, to go the right way, to go the right way. And, and so uh, I, have, uh, I have to go uh, at least once a year uh, to uh, make a retreat, to renew my faith. And, and in this retreat, I, I've got a very, uh, a very uh, great impulse from the Holy Spirit. And always to, uh, to be connected with the Holy Spirit. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Sharon Korat. I'm from uh, Mumbai. First uh, retreat I attended in Tabor, uh, in a Divine Retreat, with my mother and with my sister, elder sister. After attending a retreat, I was touched with, filled with Holy Spirit, and I got the gift of intercessory prayer. After a few days, uh, I entered in my uh, college life. I went away from the prayers, totally away from prayer, not even personal prayer I used to do. And uh, I uh, started uh, uh, enjoying the worldly pleasures. Later on, uh, I uh, uh, fell in love with uh, one boy and now I got married to him. So after getting married to him, I was not attending any retreats, not attending any prayers. So my mother used to tell me, no matter whatever is the situation, whatever is the situation, always remember Mother Mary and always uh, pray to her, she will lead you to Jesus. And the same thing happened with me. Every time I was falling into sin, I used to pray rosary. And that lead me to Jesus more closer and closer. After I got married, I've, I came more closer to Jesus. I started attending everyday Mass. 
uh, I was uh, having a cough and cold from six months. Continuous cough, cold. I used to go to doctor because of the uh, cough and cold. I used to get fever. It used to go to 104 degree, and then I used to take medicine for the timing. It used to come down again. Used to go up the fever. Then uh, once uh, I got a tonsils uh, last month, in the month of Jan, I took medicines. It was paining. I was not able to eat. Um, I was able to eat, but I was means uh, liquid and all. Uh, I used to eat. Then I, uh, I attended retreat in uh, Divine Mumbai last week. So uh, I got a healing of my tonsils and my tonsils disappeared without any cold water, without any hot water gargling, without any medicine, no fever, no tonsils and the tonsil disappeared without any medicine, praise the Lord. And then I was very happy. I did my confession today uh, very nicely. And I felt, I'm feeling very joy and peace and filled with the fruits of the Holy Spirit from my heart. And uh, one word of God touched me that God was the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. It was me that I was into a sin. I could not recognize. I used to always blame God. Why it's me? Why it's me? But no, sorry. It's a sin that leads to death. God is the same Yesterday, God is the same today and God is the same tomorrow.